So, we move on to West Bromwich Albion on Monday evening. After our last performance in the Premier League, I'm quite excited for this one. I thought we were absolutely fantastic against Chelsea last weekend and very unlucky not to nick a victory there. So, yeah, after the Boar Fest in midweek, I'm fully expecting with the squad to be changed up again, the starting eleven to be changed, I'm fully expecting another very good performance from the lads on Monday evening. Um, so with that being said, I'm going to go straight into my 1-11, to no mucking about, uh, Petr Cech in goal, basically because he's miles better than Ospina, I thought he'd done very well at the bridge as well, I thought that was one of his better games for us, um, didn't have a great deal to do, but when he did get called upon, he answered every critic out there, so I thought, yeah, fair play to Cech that day, so he's my goalkeeper for the West Brom game, I'm going with a back four, there's no need to have a back three against this lot, because they're not coming to play football. They're very rarely going to get out of their half. We're going to totally dominate possession. So with that being said, the back four. I'm going with Kalasanak, the beast, the Bosnian beast, the tank. Whatever you want to call him, that guy is playing left back. Um, right back. I thought Bellerin played really well at the bridge as well. And I thought he played really well against Bournemouth. So yeah, it's nice to see that Bellerin's put a few performances in recently. So Bellerin's my right back for the game. And hopefully he continues with his form. Centre-backs, I think they pretty much picked their self. Um, Koscielny and Mustafi. I thought that last season, at the very beginning of the season, they were outstanding. And then they tailed off and never really captured their form again. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm hoping that in the, the game on Monday, they're going to be how they looked at the beginning of last season. And I can't really see them having a lot to do, to be honest with you. Um, my two in midfield, I'm going with Aaron Ramsey, who I thought was absolutely fantastic at the weekend against Chelsea. I thought he absolutely bossed it. Everything good came through him. And it was actually nice to see that he got man of the match as well. So, you know, it was, it was an all-round great performance from him and he looked really disciplined in that match. So I'm hoping that he can continue that into the rest of the season. Alongside him, Granit Xhaka. I think that so far this season, he's been way below average. But against Chelsea, him and Aaron Ramsey bossed it. I thought they were brilliant. Both of them didn't get out of position once. They they waited for their mate to come back in before going forward. And yeah, they, they dictated that midfield. They totally bossed Chelsea's midfield to the point where they had to bring Bakayoko on at half-time. Um, so yeah, that's my pairing. Um, I'm going to go with Mesut Ozil just in front of them as the number 10. Love him or hate him, it, this is the sort of game that I'd throw him back into, a home game against West Bromwich Albion, where we're going to totally dominate possession, and hopefully he can unlock the door a few times. Right wing. Now, this is where I'm going to mix a few things up. I'm going to go with Alex Awobi. I think Alex Awobi was absolutely fantastic against Chelsea. They all were, to be honest with you. But what he gives you is work rate defensively. Um... Yes, I'm playing him in a different position. I'm going to put him on the right wing, whereas he played at number 10 um, or false nine, whatever you want to call it. But what he gives you is defensive work rate. And it's not so much just getting back and slide tackling and barging people off the ball. It's actually getting back into position and, and cutting the passing lanes off. So then the, the player on the ball has to think of a different option. And that's when you then pounce and nick the ball. And I thought he did that really, really well against Chelsea um, to the point where they run out of ideas. He came on against Doncaster and his pace scared the life out of him. Nearly got a goal at the end of the game as well. So yeah, I love, I love Alex Awobi and I really want him to start this game. On the left-hand side, I'm going with Alexis Sanchez. I'm running out of words to describe this guy. He's absolutely fantastic. I don't get the hate for this guy. Um, I'm not going to even get into it. Alexis Sanchez starts for me. Now this is going to shock a few of you. I'm going with Giroud up front. As much as I love the main man, Alex Lacazette, sorry, mate, you ain't starting this game. West Brom are going to sit so deep with two banks of four, maybe even all their men behind the ball at some points in the game. Um, we need a physical presence in there, and I think Giroud would be perfect for this game. 
Hopefully we can get off to a good start, nick an early goal, and that then draws them out. We then do them another one on the break, maybe. And that's when I'd then bring Lacazette on if we're 2 or 3-0 up and coast in the game. Um, because obviously West Brom are going to have to come out and push forward. So yeah, for this game, Giroud gets the nod. Um, nearly scored an absolute screamer against Doncaster. What a way to get his 100th goal that would have been. But he's still stuck on 99. Hopefully on Monday he gets the 100. Um, very underrated player. Gets a lot of stick from Arsenal fans, including myself. Um, but yeah, that's my 11. Let me know what you guys think. Leave your comments down there. Smash the subscribe button if you're new. Um, appreciate all the love. And absolutely donkey punch the fuck out of the like button. You know that always helps me along my way. Lets me know that you're enjoying the content. So that leaves me with one more thing to do. And that's a score prediction for the game. I'm going Arsenal 4, West Bromwich Albion 0. Comfortable, routine. Although saying that, I did say we'd beat Doncaster 5-0. Anyway, laters peeps. Thank you.